What's going on YouTube, it's Sean here and in today's video, I'm back to give you guys a much anticipated review of the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low in the Derek Jeter or Respect colorway. These dropped on May 14th for $200 US or $265 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Binary Blue and Sailed. So here locally in Toronto, these were only available for purchase at select Champ Sports locations. So on the first day of the release, May 14th, they completely sold out right away. However, a couple days later, select stores did get a small restock. This is where I was able to land my pair. So this low cut version is sort of unofficially related to the mid cut Jordan 11 Jeters. So for that release, if you guys are interested in the mid cut version, I believe there's only five pairs in existence and you're gonna have to pony up somewhere around $40,000 to grab a pair. So for those of us who don't have 40,000 just lying around, this low cut version is gonna be a very welcome alternative. Before we get into the details about the shoe, Here's a quick look at the box. So this is a special edition Jordan box. This is the exact same box that the Air Jordan 6 flight jackets came in. As you can see, this top lid is covered in different Jordan graphics. So they're a combination of old Jordan advertisements, Jordan retro cards, and old design mockups of Jordan shoes. Moving on to the shoes, this is your classic Air Jordan 11 low silhouette. However, instead of the traditional patent leather that's commonly found on Jordan 11s, in this case, the entire upper is comprised of a very premium, very high quality blue suede. This blue is of course a nod to Derek Jeter and the New York Yankees. As with all your Jordan 11s, we have these vertical straps found along the midfoot that form the lace loops for the laces. Found wrapping around the toe box, along the sides of the shoe and along the back heel, we have this overlay which traditionally is patent leather, but once again, as I mentioned, this is done in the same suede. Moving on to the back heel, instead of your traditional number 23, here we have Derek Jeter's number 2 that's embroidered in white, and below this we have a Jumpman symbol also done in white. The tongue on these Jordan 11s is also done in blue suede. On the left foot we have this Jumpman Jordan branding, and on the right foot we have the Derek Jeter Respect branding. Overlaid on top of the tongue, here we have the laces. So in this case, the standard laces on these Jordan 11s are a navy colored leather lace. However, if leather is not your thing, they also come with a secondary pair of rope laces also done in navy blue. The interior liner of this shoe is also done in blue, and inside they come with these plastic shoe horns which is a nice touch. As we move on to the insoles, so the top layer of the insole is lined with blue leather. On the left insole it reads respect in white, and on the right insole it has a number 2 depicted in the same style that the number 23 is typically done on Jordan 11s. So the upper of these Jordan 11s that's completely done in binary blue sits atop the sail colored midsole. So sail, if you guys don't know, is sort of like an off-white or a creamish white color. Encapsulated within the midsole, we have a full-length Nike Air unit for cushioning. Flipping these over and taking a look at the very bottom, so here we have your traditional Air Jordan 11 outsole. So in this case, instead of an icy blue, this is done in like a milky off-white finish. Of course, we have these rubber pods along the forefoot and on the bottom heel, and then underneath this, we have this carbon fiber shank plate along with this Jumpman symbol found in the center. Sizing wise, I felt these fit pretty true to size, so I'd recommend sticking with your true Jordan size. In my case, I got these in a size 10, which is the same size that I get in other Jordan models like the Air Jordan 5, the Air Jordan 6, the Air Jordan 11, and the Air Jordan 12. Comfort wise, these actually kind of surprised me as they were a bit more comfortable than I'd expected. I don't know if it's the insole, but overall it felt really nice on feet, and the suede overall was just really soft. So now let me lace up these Jordan 11 low jeters and show you guys how these look on feet. If you guys are fans of Air Jordans and you're looking for a high quality, premium sneaker, this is a shoe that you probably want to consider. 
I'm not even kidding you when I say the quality of the materials is exceptional. I had no craftsmanship issues, no glue stains or anything on my pair. And overall, I was very, very happy with this pickup. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these Air Jordan 11 Lows and the Derek Jeter colorway. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more videos to come, and be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at sgo8. Check out my website, which is now up at shango.ca. And until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for the continued support, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.